Today I'm here to prove why tetracycline is the best antibiotic for you. For my model, I used Easter eggs to represent large scale pill capsules. Each color represents a different molecule. Pink represents hydroxide, blue represents oxygen, green represents a CH3 molecule, purple represents nitrogen, and the black egg represents an NH2 molecule. I used one pipe cleaner to represent single bonds and two pipe cleaners to represent double bonds. Natural tetracyclines are a class of antibiotics comprised of a distinct family of substituted hydronaphthalenes. Four fused, six-membered rings form the basic structure from which the various tetracyclines are made. All tetracyclines approved for humans, including tetracycline itself, are fermentation products or are derived from fermentation products by semi-synthesis. This also includes doxycycline, minocycline, and recently approved tigacycline. Tetracycline is an antibiotic that treats many bacterial infections such as those shown on the screen as well as a few others. Tetracycline was discovered as a natural product by physiologist Benjamin Duggar in 1945 and was first prescribed in 1948. The tetracycline family includes other antibiotics such as demaclocycline, doxycycline, and minocycline. The long-acting tetracyclines are more recently developed drugs. The main difference between the long-acting and the short-acting tetracyclines is that the long-acting may be dosed less frequently. The spectrum of bacterial coverage is essentially the same. They are all well distributed throughout the body tissues and fluids. Most of the tetracycline dose is excreted unchanged into the urine by glomerular filtration, although there is some biliary excretion as well. Doxycycline and minocycline are mostly excreted by non-renal, possibly hepatic routes. Only 20 to 26 percent of doxycycline and 4 to 19 percent of minocycline is excreted in the urine. Listed here are some common brand names for tetracycline. Shown on this slide are pictures of acne before and after a tetracycline treatment as well as the capsules. There are many benefits to taking tetracycline. The first one that is most important to teenagers is the cost. Tetracycline is very affordable. It also has a high absorption rate, meaning almost all of the drug is absorbed, which maximizes the effectiveness. In addition, it does not take a long time for this antibiotic to begin working. Lastly, this drug is generally well tolerated by patients who take it. Tetracycline is now being used by scientists to track fish. They do this by exposing developing embryos to tetracycline in speci specifically designed incubation chambers. This information is essential for identifying which critical marine habitats should be set aside to protect the estimated 70 to 80 percent of fish populations whose stocks have been overfished or whose habitats have been disrupted by humans. Also, several trials have examined modified and unmodified tetracyclines for the treatment of human cancers. Of those very promising results were achieved with CMT3 for patients with Kaposi sarcoma. And now time for a reenactment of a probable dermatology appointment. Hey Bobby, great to see you. Hey Doc, how's it going? Pretty good. What brings you in today? Well, I've been having some trouble with my back acne, and it's almost beach season, so I need to get that taken care of, you know, so I can show off my ripped lats, you know. Have you tried anything else so far? Well, I tried some stuff from the store, but it, it didn't really work out. Some creams, I think. They would be to try some medicated topical creams or uh, some pre prescription pills. Another doctor already gave me some prescription creams, but they didn't work. Then let's start you on a prescription drug. There's many out there, but all my patients see the best results of tetracycline. Tetracycline? What's that? Tetracycline is an antibiotic used to treat a variety of bacterial infections, including pneumonia, Rocky Mountain spot fever, cholera, Lyme disease, and sexually transmitted infections such as chlamydia, syphilis, and gonorrhea. Jeepers, Doc, what doesn't that treat? What else should I know about it? Tetracycline is taken orally on an empty stomach to maximize absorption. When distributed throughout the body, it concentrates in the liver, kidney, spleen, and skin, and binds to tissues undergoing calcification. It will also bind to tumors that have a high calcium content, such as a gastric carcinoma. When binded to these tissues, it forms tetracycline calcium orthophosphate complexes at sites of new bone formation or tooth development. What's the dosage, Doc? I'd like to start you on 500 milligrams twice daily. As the acne improves, we'll lessen the dosage. Okay, thanks, Doc. No 
problem. I'd like to see you back in about a month to see how it's going. Hey, Bobby, great to see you again. Hey, Doc, how's it going? Good. How's the acne treatment going? Oh, it's great. My confidence is back, the ladies love me, and I'm not afraid to be shirtless anymore. Let's take a look. Yeah, go right ahead there. <laughs> wow, it looks a lot better. I think it's time we yeah. lessen the... I'll send a new prescription over to your pharmacy. You'll take 250 milligrams once daily. And then I'll see you back in six months. Thanks, Doc. You're a lifesaver.